Big it, look at that big it. What's going on everybody? Fishing the Odds here and today I'm at North Fork Reservoir in my little aluminum boat and I'm going to do some trout fishing today. I'm going to be trolling for some trout. I got a few different attractors. I got my flashers and I have my dodgers. So I'm going to get get started with those and see if you can't get on some fish, man. Um, they just put a lot of fish in here. I also got a little little squid for, um, for kokanee. Should have for some trout too. And then I got Let's see, I got my super ultra light right here. Rod. Right there. Boom. I'm going to show you guys how to rig this stuff later. And uh, I'm going to show you everything. The the leader, length, the, the weight, how to rig it, how to efficiently tie, pre-tie your leaders and everything. And I got this on a spoon, so... It's so a one six ounce, super light gear. And I also have another setup, another light gear. Got my vintage browning reel right here. And I got this on a wedding ring. I got a Dodger in a wedding ring. Just a little bit of weight. Lure Jensen, baby, Lure Jensen. So, let's get this motor started, get on some trout. What you guys are looking for is a constant action in your tip. When you oh, right there, fish on. You guys see that? And that's what a takedown looks like. So obviously you didn't stick, but once you have that constant action, you know you're effectively trolling. Um, that that's when you know you have your speed right. So there you go. Let's see if we can't get another one. So guys, during these trolling sessions. I, I don't really have a speed, if that makes sense. I just watch my lures. I just make sure the action is, is right. And it's like I showed you guys earlier, you want that constant action if you're fishing those dodgers and flashers. You don't want to look for like a, if you're going too slow if your action is, you know what I mean? If it's barely dodging, then you know. But as you can see, um, the speed I'm at is effective and I'm catching these fish. So, I don't have uh, a speedometer to tell me how fast I'm going. I just simply pay attention to my depth and the action of my rod tip. I'm going to go over my setup real quick. Show you guys how to rig this and how to catch trout trolling. So, we're gonna start up here. You got your main line here. That's going down to a couple beads and a sinker slide, okay? Then you tie on a barrel swivel to a, to a um, 12 inch to 18 inch leader to your Dodger or whatever kind of attraction that you're running. So, 
from your attraction go to your leader and on all my leaders sorry I'm paying attention to my rod over here I got I got a few fish already and on all my leaders I put a barrel swivel snap down to 18 inches roughly roughly 18 to 20 inch leaders is what I like to roll that way the action of your lure is affected by the dodger or whatever attractor that you have I have that down right now to a spoon so I basically got two spoons a dodger and a spoon now this caught me a couple trout today and it also lost me a couple trout today but the nice thing is like I said if you type barrel snaps to your leaders I could effectively just unclip this put on a new leader with a new uh, lure on it already and everything at home all I gotta do is quick connect quick connect if I want to keep using this attractor so so that's one of the rigs that I'm running today this is a seps usually run lure, lure Jensen and Dodgers um, you want to use super light line for these trout you know you want to go eight eight pound test uh, six pound test and if, if you're going for some bigger fish you know maybe throw a 10 pound I mean that's up to you guys I like to keep it light I like to keep things around six pound eight pound when I'm trout fishing so this is one of my setups as you can see it's super simple mainline slider tractor leader and then whatever kind of lure you want I'm going to show you other lures that can be used and can be effective in just a little bit so another setup I have guys and it's going to be similar okay the only difference is the attractor another way you could do it okay again you have your bead your slider and your bead and I have more weight on this setup I was trying to fish a little bit deeper you know mix things up a little bit see where these trout are and I have my school of minnows this is a lake troller um, this comes on a it's like a wire it's like a braided wire and you know you don't want to lose this it comes pre-tied and everything you can tie your own you can make your own attractors with your own blades Colorado blades whatever you want to do but this is what it looks like it's lure Jensen and again I got a barrel snap on right here I can just snap this on snap a different attractor on if I want to to my uh, to my lead now this should be a barrel snap just so I can you know snap on snap off but it's not um, I got this this is a kokanee setup right here red hooks I like red hooks I'm a stickler for red hooks I don't know why but this is a kokanee setup it's just a little squid it's like a little squid skirt and uh, I've gotten some bites on this today but nothing stuck on this so I'm not fishing it right now I have a wedding ring over here and I have a spoon over here um, that, that, those are the two rods I've been fishing today this one has been getting bites you know but it, it's they're not sticking so maybe these fish are a little more lethargic you know I want the smaller size hook uh, these are a little bit bigger so yeah that's another setup you basically just change your attractors man the way that I have this set up is easy snap on snap off your barrel swivel snaps tie them to all your leaders then you can just effectively snap on snap off so you guys can see what I'm doing is effective um, I played around this morning with a little bit of finding the right depth. I told for two hours not catching nothing. Then I adjusted the weight a little bit. I added a quarter ounce, man. That's all it took, and I was on the fish. So I've been uh, playing catch and release for a little bit, just so just so I can extend my fishing day. Um, but I'm gonna come up and catch another fish, catch another couple fish, and end my day. But a little update guys just letting you know that you know you can mess around with your leader lengths you can change your weight you can do all kinds of stuff to change you can even change your lure you know or your attractor if your attractor's not working change it you know if you don't if you know there's fish and you're not catching them try something new but that's what i did i, I just been experimenting today even with leader lengths you know some some trout are more lethargic and they don't want to take something that's that's eight pounds you know they want four pounds so, just depends. I mixed it up and, and now I'm on the fish. Uh, I found the right depth and I found the right leader length. Uh, it's about 18 inches, I'm catching these fish. The, the, the rod that I have set up, there's a fish. So the rod that I have set up um, with, with like a 12 inch leader, 
um, isn't catching any fish. So I, th I think they like to see that leader or that, that lure further apart from their attractor. For some reason, some fish are like that. Some fish will take it if it's eight inches from your attractor. But in this particular place, that's not the case. I'm not catching any fish until I went to my 18 inch leaders and then I started catching fish. So those are just some little tips that you guys can use to, uh, you know, hopefully get on some more trout. If you know there's trout there and you're not catching them, it makes it up. And th those are just some options that you guys have to change, you know. And sometimes it can be color too. Like, I remember fishing with, uh, with Mike one day. We were trolling for trout at Hag Lake. I was fishing a wedding ring. It was like pink. Pink and gold probably, I think it was. And I wasn't catching as many fish. But then I switched to a black and yellow wedding ring. And I was like, I was on the fish big time. So... Sometimes it depends. Sometimes it's the color. So if, if you got the tackle, if you got the tools in your arsenal, try new things, guys. So let's get back out there. Let's catch, let's catch a couple more fish and we'll be on our way. So this wedding ring has been the hot item today. For some reason, this thing is just catching fish, man. This is this is awesome. It's a, it's a max, so a little Colorado blade. Wedding ring's been catching the fish. Did he come off? No, he came off. All right, everybody, that's gonna complete the video out here in Estacada. Um, I caught my limit of trout. I caught that big one. I'm super happy about that. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Uh, maybe you learn a little something about trolling. You know, um, my buddy taught me how to troll not too long ago, and I just want to spread the word. You know, yeah, some people might not know how to troll. You can do the same thing in a kayak. You know, you can get out there and catch a limited trout with these attractors. You know, just use just use a little bit of attraction. Um, wedding rings spoons spinners you can even put pro gear on them you know you can scent them up if you want to you know adjust your leaders play with that a little bit play with your weight a little bit you know and you'll, you'll find that sweet spot you'll, you'll notice you'll start getting more bites and that's what it's all about man you know you just got to try new things and get out on the water spend spend four or five hours out there go catch your limit you know feed some people anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video Hopefully you like watching that awesome fight on an ultralight rod, that, that nice 22 inch fish. And uh, until next time, tight lines. <laughs>